This Bluetooth ability to scanner is looking really good. Despite its low price, the Mucar BT200 Max can do full system scan, it is also bidirectional, so not only you can access every system, you can also do bidirectional tests, you can check live data in all systems, you have 15 service resets, you even got built-in AI assistance, and all this comes with free lifetime updates. Right now on official website it is 68 euros, with coupon CarHacker you get 10% off so it will be around 60 euros to buy, which is really cheap considering what you got. And not only you can use it with this MuCar app, it also works as generic ELM327 adapter. So that means you can also use it with hundreds of other apps that are available for ELM adapters in App Store, like Carista, CarScanner app, whichever apps you want to use, you can use them with this MuCar BT200 Max. So let me show you everything this scanner can do. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I'm Yuri, I test OBD2 scanners, I have tested hundreds of them, and all the best scanners I have put on my website, on the page OBD2 scanner guide, it is linked in the description, and on that page you can choose best OBD2 scanners by budget type or car brand. And if you are not sure which scanner type is for you, click the link on top, download my OBD2 scanner buyer's guide, and I will send you a short PDF which explains differences between scanners and you will know which one is right for you. Okay, so this is Mucar BT200 Max, let me unbox it, you have this nice case and this is our adapter which we'll be using. So it is very easy to carry around, you can just throw it in your glove box and then you have basically a professional scan tool to use with you at all times. So first you want to scan this QR code and install Dollarfix Plus app, so this is the app we will be using. Now it wants you to log in or register, email verification, and once I have completed that, I have to also activate the device. So you scan another QR code and you will get message, device activated and now you can use it. So first you want to download software for car brands. When you will get it, you probably just want to download all the softwares at once. But right now, since I'm making video, I have chosen only some brands like Volkswagen, Alpha and some others I will be testing. Okay, so with my software updated, I jumped in my alpha, turn on ignition, plug in adapter in OBD2 port. After making it sound, I know I am connected. And you have this VIN scan, but it doesn't work for other vehicles. But let me show you anyway. So when you will try to use it for the first time, it will also want to download this auto search software. And once that is done, it will go ahead and it will try to detect car model and car brand. But like I said, it does not work on other cars. So I got this message, VIN code, analysis failed, please select manually. So I have to select manually Alfa Romeo. Okay, so this is list of brands, I click on Alfa Romeo. Okay, now I'm inside, I can do health report, system scan or system selection. So health report will go over all control modules, but we can do that in another car. But right now I will just choose some one system and I will show you some of the features. So let's go to system selection. For example, let's go into the engine module. And in every module you have a bunch of stuff you can do, you can check module information, you can read fault codes. You can also check live data, so these are the live data from engine module. And you can also do actuation tests, so this scanner is bidirectional. So just with my scan tool we can test some of this stuff like engine fan and bunch of other tests in the engine module. And doesn't matter which module you will connect to, in every module you will have the same things you can do. So in every module you will be able to read fault codes, do bidirectional testing or check live data. For example now. I am doing bidirectional test for my preheating warning light. Okay, so now we can change cars. Let's go to my Golf. Like before, connect to the OBD2 port. Bluetooth connected. Start ignition. Now I will find the device. Go to diagnostics. And this time we see it in Volkswagen. So we will choose Volkswagen out of my downloaded brands. Now let me show you this health report. So when you do health report, it will scan all control modules for faults. So now it is trying to detect all control modules that are in my car and read all of them for fault code memory. You can already see we have some of good modules, but there are also some faulty ones, these red modules, like climate and central electrics, and that means we will have some fault code. And scan is very quick, it is about 30-40 seconds to scan full car. That will be different for different car models, but at least on this Golf, this scan is really fast. And already we got all modules scanned. We have two faulty systems with two fault codes. So both climate and electronic module have one fault code. Now here you have some options, you either can 
clear fault codes, but I don't want to do that right now. But you can also use AI. You have built-in AI that will tell you more about each fault code. Check this out, for example, this code. And I got this code explained and also some steps to solve this code with the help of AI. And if that is not enough, you can just click here and go straight to Google and it will look up same code on same car for you. So even if you don't understand fault codes, you have a bunch of options that will help you. And here on the bottom, there is also option to clear DTCs. So it will try to clear all fault codes. Clear fault code memory completed. However, we still have one code, which apparently couldn't be cleared because not every code can be cleared with just scan tool. And then what you can also do is diagnostic report. However, in this scanner, it is, I think, worst looking diagnostic report I have ever seen. Most of the scan tools will make you pretty good looking reports, which I cannot say here. So, so far, this is only con of this scanner, but it is just small detail and most of you will probably won't need to do these reports. So let's go over other functionality. We can choose some control module to go to. For example, let's go to central electric system. And then in every module, we have a bunch of options like advanced information about control module. We can read live data. For example, let me just select live data from my turn signals. And now if I press turn signal, we can see it changing right in the live data or even display it in form of graph. See if I press turn signal, now the graph will go from 1% to 100% as the turn signal is turning on and off. Now with this scanner, you can also do a bunch of bidirectional tests. For example, now I am still in my electronic control module and with just my scanner, I can, for example, turn on my headlights or my left turn signal or even turn on my windshield wiper motor. In every control module there are like 10 to 20 different tests. So there is a lot of stuff you can test only with your scanner. Now let me go back inside car and show you live data in more detail. So we can go ahead and build our custom page. So I selected these five live data parameters. And now when I started engine, we can see them moving. But if you want to watch multiple values in one graph, I have tried, but apparently that is not possible. I can select only one value in graph at a time, which would be bad thing. But remember that this scanner works with other ELM apps. So if I want to look at live data, I can open my car scanner app and there I can watch multiple live data graphs at once. Now, in case you will work with some weird car model or car brand that is not supported, instead of selecting car brand, you can just go straight to this OBD scan and that will work on every car with OBD2 system. Because all cars with OBD2 systems should support one of these protocols. And now my scanner is going over all of them and it is trying to find out which of the protocol is my car using. So we got a bunch of failed ones, but this one is my protocol. It's a match. And now I am able to use global OBD functions. That is, for example, checking readiness monitors. So this will do check on my emission and exhaust systems. And if system is OK, it will show ready. For catalytic converter, it is showing not ready. So there might be something wrong with cat. Or I just have to drive car a little bit and after a while it will show ready as well. Then you can read fault codes, but we don't have any fault codes in engine. And you can read live data. But if you want to check engine live data, you probably want to go through car scanner ELM app. I will show you that soon as well. But before we will start using other apps, then this dollar fix. In this dollar fix, you have also 15 service resets you can use. So these are all supported service procedures. This is something you will not find in other apps like car scanner or carista. But here you have 15 service resets you can use for a lifetime. Then you also got these dashboard pages, but inside this dollar fix app, the response is kind of slow. So for that, you can use the car scanner app as well. Now in this app, there is some more stuff like, for example, fault light description. So if you have some warning light on your dash and you don't know what that means, you can research it here. Then you got fault code library, which is better than libraries in other scanners because it is done with AI. So it is not just simple code description, but if I select some code like this PO235, I will get long descriptions, so I will understand this code and also I will get tips on what to do to fix it. But like I said, this adapter works for any ELM apps as well. So let's try this. I will download my favorite ELM327 app that is Car Scanner ELM OBD2, one of best OBD2 apps out there. Before I am able to connect, I have to go to settings and select adapter I am trying connecting to. And now it will go ahead and it will try to talk to my adapter. 
and then connect to car. And just like that, I am connected. So adapter works with other apps as well. So you can use it to see, for example, live data graphs, and you can watch multiple graphs at once inside this app. So if you want to watch multiple things at once, you can either do two graphs at once inside this app, or if you buy premium version, it is just about $5 for a lifetime. You can watch up to four different live data graphs at once, or then you can also combine multiple values in one graph. Once again, it is two values for free version, but if you get pro version, you can select, I think, unlimited values. You can even have like seven or eight values in one graph. So yes, this is Mucar, Bluetooth 200 Max. I think this might be best Bluetooth OBD2 scanner because it is cheap, but it will give you a lot of stuff to do. You have this software brand, you have this brand software, so you can do full system diagnosing on a lot of car brands with bidirectional testing, service procedures, or going deep into live data in every control module. But then you also got this simple OBD tab, so you will be able to use it on any car. And if you are missing some functionality, the adapter will also work with other ELM apps. So just with this one adapter, which is fairly cheap, it is like 68 euros. But go to link in description and you will get on my Fincar website. This is official website for Fincar and Mucar. And you can use coupon code CARHACKER and you will get 10% off.